thank you for watching this video. So in this video, I'll be doing question 6 of May June 2022, question paper mathematics paper 1. And these are functions you see in this parable right here. So I'm going to read the statement and then proceed to answer the question you might follow. So question 6. The sketch below shows the graph of f of x is equal to negative x squared minus 6x plus 7. C is the y-intercept of f, you can see C is here, it's the y-intercept. A and B are the x-intercepts of f. So A and B are the x-intercepts of f. And the point D is a point on f. And D here is a point on our graph f. Okay. So, it didn't say, but given this parabolic function, we have this equation here. Yes. And they told that C is the y-intercept, as you can see here. A and B are the x-intercepts of our function f. And D is a point on f. Here you can see D there. So let's go. 6.1. Calculate the coordinates of the turning point of f. We know if we have, uh, if we're given the equation of a function in, of a parabola to find the x-coordinate of the turning point, what do we say? We say, okay, we're given the equation. The x-coordinate of the turning point is equal to negative b over 2a, right? So, that is our b. Our b is minus 6. Oh, sorry. It's negative b. What is b? b is minus 6 over 2a. What is our a? Our a is minus 1. So we get that this is 6 over negative 2, so this is negative 3. We punch this in the calculator. To get the y corresponding y value of, of uh, an e of this x value here, so okay, fn minus 3 is equal to negative minus 3 x squared minus 6 into minus 3 plus 7. Just punch this in a calculator, so you will get the corresponding y value of this. So I'm going to punch it, and then continue. Negative minus 3 squared minus 6 into minus 3 plus 7. Right? We get that, oh, actually it's too many spaces. We get that the y is 16 y is 16 here. So your coordinates for e, uh, your x value is minus 3 and your y is 16. So you have your value, your coordinates here, minus 3 and 16. Those are the coordinates for e. Now we move to 6.2. Determine the value of k. So they want you to find what the value of k is. What is the k? So you are given the coordinates d, right? It's minus 5 and k. So k is the corresponding y value of x, right? In order to find the value of k, you must substitute your x value on your equation to find the value of to find the corresponding y value of minus 5. So say Minus, oh, f at minus 5 is equal to k, right? Of course, if you find the value of this, you get the value of minus 5, which is equal to minus, minus 5 squared, right? Minus 6 into minus 5 plus 7 is equal to k. Then you punch that in the calculator. What do you get? It's minus 5 there. We get that your k answer of this is equal to 12. We get that your k is equal to 12. We are done here. We move to the next question. 6.3 determine the equation of a line passing through C and D. So they want us to find the equation of a line that passes through this point here. of a line that passes through this point. 
So you know that the equation that lies in the form y is called mx plus c, right? So you know the coordinates for c is 0 and 7. This is the y-intercept of our of our of our parabola, right? And then we know our coordinates minus 5 and 12. Right? So we can be able to find the gradient between the two points. Right? So 6.3, one equation of the line connecting these two points. We need to find the equation of the line and the y intercept. And then we're done. So y is equal to mx plus c. So we'll find our m the gradient m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? So y2, you can say our y2 is 12 here. So it's going to be 12 minus y1, y1 is equal to 7. Divided by what? By minus 5 minus our x1, which is 0 here. So what do we have? This we have 5 over minus 5. So our gradient of C D is equal to minus 1. So we have our gradient. So y is equal to minus x plus c. What is c? C is the y intercept. The y intercept is 7. So therefore, y is equal to minus x plus 7. So this is our equation of the line. This into C and D. What is 6.3? We'll come to 6.1. A tangent parallel to CD, right, touches F at P. Determine the coordinates of P. So we have a tangent that is parallel to this one. Right? It touches our graph F at D at P. So we can say maybe our P is here. So our tangent, say so our tangent is something like this. Parallel to this one too. So we can say our P maybe is here, X and Y, right? Here is our P. I'm sorry, uh, I'm not a so let's take these two things as parallel. They don't look very parallel to my drawings, I'm sorry. Uh, but you get the point. So let's say this is parallel to that, right? So they want us to find the point at which our tangent touches our graph. How do we find this? So we can say, okay, our graph, our tangent have the equation y called the minus x plus c, right? Or let's say plus k for some intercept somewhere here, right? So at that point, these two have the same coordinates. That is the point of intersection, right? So at this point, these two functions are equal, which is this f of x and my tangent have the same coordinates there. So you can say, my f of x is equal to y. Therefore, minus, or actually, minus x plus c is equal to negative x squared minus 6x plus 7, right? These two things are equal. Then you can try to sort that out. Transpose this to the other side. We have x squared. plus 6x minus x, right? Uh, minus x minus 7, right? Plus c is equal to 0. So x squared from here plus became positive. 6x it was negative, became positive on the other side. Then say minus x from there, minus 7 plus c. Right, so now what do we have? We have that uh, x squared plus 5x plus c minus 7 is equal to 0. Right, 
uit. Hier. Uh, now we have this equation. We're trying to solve for this equation, right? These two things meet at once. So we want our solution to have one solution, which means we can say, okay, if we put this in our part, we can say x coordinate is b plus minus what is b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right? So, we want this thing to have one solution. Right? So, the solution will be equal. This solution will be rational. What will be B? So, okay. And real. So, we want this to have one solution. In order to have this to have one solution, this, this part here, the discriminant should be zero. Which means the discriminant should be equal to zero. In order to have one solution, because a tangent touches the graph once, so which means we want the solution for this equation to be just one x value, not two, just one. So we'll achieve this if our discriminant for this equation is what is zero. So which means now we have we will have a solution x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root our discriminant over two a. And our discriminant there, we want it to be zero. Then, only then we will have one equal solution, which will be rational and real. That is the goal, to obtain a solution like this. That's the solution that you will have if you only want that quantity equation to have one solution. So, if the discriminant is zero, which means our x value for a point of intersection is equal to x is equal to negative b over 2a because this part there is zero which is equal to negative b what is our b our b is 5 over 2 into a what is our a our a is 1 so this is minus 5 over 2 which is minus 2 comma 5 that is the x field of our turning point of our point of intersection to find the y value to find the y value, then you substitute the x value of minus 1 over 2 on one of our equations, the complete one, which means now the x value will be f at minus 5 over 2, which is called the minus 5 over 2 squared, right? Minus 6 into minus 5 over 2 plus 7. So f at Minus 5 over 2 is equal to, then you get the answer of it. It's minus 5 over 2. It's minus 63 over 4, which means the coordinates is minus 5 over 2 and 63 over 4. These are the x coordinates for the turning point. Or for the point of intersection between the tangent and the function. Then we go to 6.5. 6.5 with as follows. For which values of x is f of x minus 12 less than 0? f of x minus 12 greater than 0. So, 6.5, for which values of x will f of x minus 12 be greater than 0? f of x minus 12 be greater than 0. So, what does this thing, f of x minus 12, mean? It means we are pulling our graph 6 units, uh, 12 units down. We are shifting our graph 10 units, 12 units down. So, we know that 12 is here and somewhere here. All this line is 12, this one here. So, if we pull this graph 12 units down, 
right? Then this point here will be exactly here. And this one point will be here. So your graph will look like this now. So this graph is f of x minus 12. Because if you say minus 12 here on the function, you are pulling the function 12 minutes down. So this point will be here and that point will be there. But now you need to find, you have you know the x value is minus 5 here. And this point here is, what is it? You need to find what this point is. But you know, the x coordinate of the x of cement is what? It's minus 3 here. So, and the x of cement is the midpoint between the x intercept. It is the midpoint, the x of cement of the intercept. Right? So, which means... You can say, okay, uh, x, then you can say, x coordinate turning point is equal to x intercept 1 plus x intercept 2 over 2. We know about the x coordinate of the turning point is minus, minus 3. It's equal to x1, which is minus 5, plus x2, which is what you want, over 2. Then you solve for x2. Cross multiply minus 6 equal to minus 5 plus x2. What does it mean? Transpose this to the other side. It means x2 is equal to minus 1. Right? Which means this point here, you have minus 1. So they're asking, what are the values of x for which our, this function is positive? This function is positive here. Right? Positive with this value. What are the corresponding what? x values? Here are the corresponding x values for the x intercept. This point, the interval here. This interval. So the solution will be um, x is an element of minus 5 to minus 1. So from minus 5 to minus 1. Or you can just say minus 1. We're done with this question. So this thing will be interval for x values now between minus 5 and minus 1. So these are the x values. So you have two things positive here, the corresponding x values are here. And we're done with this question. Hope you are correct. <laughs>